Okay guys, it's the home stretch, the sample final exam. Here's problem number one. How many grams of calcium oxide can be made from 13.5 grams of calcium carbonate? The balanced equation is this. If you heat up this stuff, it falls apart into this, and carbon dioxide gas is made. Okay, if it says it's balanced, you know it's balanced. We have one number in the problem. Let's start with that one. And let's label it both with our units and what it is. So we want to compare the calcium carbonate with the calcium oxide and that's a mole to mole ratio of one to one. So we have to get to moles first. How do you get from grams to moles? You should know by now that's using the periodic table and the molar mass. I've already done that calculation. One calcium, one carbon, and three oxygens adds up to 100.1 grams of calcium carbonate for every one mole of calcium carbonate. The grams and the calcium carbonate cancel. We're at moles of calcium carbonate. Once we're there, we can use the mole to mole ratio of the balanced equation to get from where we started to where we want to end up. No promises your ratio and your final will be one to one. But this one was. That one comes from there. That one comes from there, right? Okay, so once we're at moles, they want to know the grams. Well, we did our mole to mole ratio step. We're using the periodic table again, the molar mass again, but just the flipped over version. And I did that calculation as well. 56.08 grams of calcium oxide. One oxygen is 16. One calcium is uh, 40.08, so you add them up. Notice that the moles and the calcium oxide cancel. You're left with grams, that's the only unit you have left of what you want, calcium oxide. Three sig figs here, four here, infinite here, four here, so the answer is three sig figs, and that's 7.56 grams. We are done. That's all there is to that. If you want more practice, that's where you find it. Chapter 7, Exercise 7H.